Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for coming back, returning subscribers. Welcome. Um, today's video is pretty much straightforward. Personally, I have nothing against DIYs, but the thing about DIYs, especially the ones with fruits, fruits, I really don't recommend them. Um, I remember sometime last year or so, there was a lady that came to me with some sunburns, yeah, hyperpigmentation kind of issues, and um, I was recommending things for her. A friend of hers came in and told her not to waste her money on buying all these creams and all of these things that they're just pure waste of money, that she should go for turmeric, that she should mix turmeric and milk or so, I don't know, one of those. And the lady was like, eh, she now didn't buy the stuff i was recommending for her in fact i was even asking her to get an spf to help with the sunburns and all that but then her friend who she felt knew better asked her to go and use turmeric that is a matter of time it will go see i'm not saying turmeric is not a good diy um ingredients or something like that but it is unrealistic for you to rely on turmeric to clear hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation um, goes deeper than you think it needs um tyrosinate inhibitors like products with tyrosinate inhibitors you also need um exfoliation yeah at least occasional exfoliation even if you're the type that don't exfoliate all the time but same turmeric i see a lot of videos on this youtube honestly speaking i will boldly say that some of these videos are 100 percent misleading like you don't know what behind the scene the person uses and then comes back and tell you voila um stuffs have cleared it or it could be possible the person is not lying he cleared it but at the end of the day we have different skin types especially with the skin of color we pigment easily our hyperpigmentation is so intense due to the fact that our melanin is very prominent yes we have much more melanin and most of the time when our skin is exposed to any trauma and that's why even if mosquito bites you or maybe mistakenly wound yourself somewhere the place becomes darker that's our skin that's the way of our skin protecting itself by producing more melanin and then it easily gets darkened something in those lines um using of fruit to me when you see some diy saying that uh, how to make all uh, vitamin c that was one i saw how to make vitamin c with a lemon i'd be like like hello <laughs> these by cosmetic vitamin c's that we use they've been like kind of taken to the lab and treated nicely even as they have been taken to the lab and treated nicely like putting it in a cosmetic grade kind of standard you still need an spf how much more taking a raw vitamin C, mixing it with some things, and then voila, you have it. But please don't use, don't do that. Like, I'm even glad, Seth, and when you look at it critically, unlike let's say two, three, four years ago, because of course a lot of people have learned the hard way, so they stopped. If you look at it critically now, the amount or the rate of um, unnecessary DIYs with fruits have dropped drastically. For me, the ones that are even a lot more better that I personally work with, even as a cosmetic formulator. Uh, more of vegetables and i mean by more of it maybe we talk of aloe vera we talk of moringa we talk of neem like i enjoy incorporating them in my soups and they come in form of powders in the sense that most of these leaves when you cut them off you sun dry them or whatever if you have uh, machines for drying purposes you dry them and grind them they are much more realistic even though their realistic nature is not the type that you rely on it to clear hyperpigmentation or melasma or acne neem is an example of um a diy ingredient that can actually clear help you with acne but then alongside some other good cosmetic ingredients that can help with acne there are times that i might come off like nonchalant or i'm just ignoring the people that will come up with me to come up to me with a proposal of and hey, let's use this and make this let's use it look we're not being realistic here picking up a fruit or a vegetable or um anything that you think is relevant for use in cosmetics and just incorporating into cosmetics okay let me speak first and i had an experience with someone that wanted us to do i don't know if it's a partnership or so i don't i couldn't really tell what it is and it had to do with using of snail slime like six years ago, snail slime was a thing. 
Do you understand? But then we come to a world where now people even tell you that they don't they won't even allow their skin to absorb that kind of thing due to the fact that they are vegans, they don't deal even though the um extraction process of the snake slime does not hurt the the snake snail at all. Which is okay, but then it's not as realistic as you think. It's actually good. Okay, let me just give you a quick example. For instance, now you want to clear age spots and um you're going to use snail slime that will take forever like it will take you almost a year or even more than a year as i said that will take forever to probably help you clear that each spot and then maybe you have um a good um ingredient like let's say your lactic acid that could actually help exfoliate and then clear those kind of spots that can produce results let's say in two or three months highest which one will you go for Obviously, you will go for your lactic acid that it's quite more reasonable and quite more realistic than going for a snail slime that will take forever. Let's tell ourselves the truth. When we use things and we don't see results, we dump it. There are even people that even the cosmetic grade kind of ingredients, when they are impatient, because some people are impatient, some people just want products to work from them, for them from one day to another. It's not possible. Your skin has life. So it, 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 it takes process. Do you understand? It's just like exfoliating as well. If you choose there, there's some customers I meet, there's some clients I meet, they tell me that they don't want to exfoliate. It. It's fine. In a way, yes, it's fine because naturally our skin is structured to exfoliate by itself. The topper layer of the skin, that is the outer layer that we see physically, the stratum conium, it's, it's, it's well designed. And that is why it is dangerous for you to mess up with your skin, maybe going as far as bleaching, messing up your skin barrier. Because the skin barrier is has this natural configuration it just happens although the older we get the slower the rejuvenation time of our skin but naturally our skin actually exfoliates itself by itself but using exfoliant helps you to exfoliate faster to give you a much more brighter skin and some exfoliants like especially the chemical exfoliants they kind of go deeper to exfoliate and I have a video on a solution i'll link it in the description area you can go there and watch it i don't want to bug you here with it so what am i trying to say here is that using fruits for diys or for cosmetic purposes it's really not realistic do you understand some people will tell you that yeah, but it's natural it's blah 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 i agree with you it's natural but it's not realistic it's natural but it's not realistic i have um serious hyperpigmentation or sunburns i rather recommend something with good tyrosinate inhibitors like your kojic dipermitage or licorice your sepi white it's better incorporate things like that alongside you use um, other vitamins like your vitamin a your vitamin b your vitamin c to me it makes more sense than for me to say i want to use a carrot or papaya in fact one very important about carrot before i forget quickly as some people that use carrot as spf like that that it's even getting to a point where some people even tell you spf 30 is even too low to protect you then how much more you're going for carrot that has a very 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 low uh, spf value maybe as low as even six or so i'm not too sure it's not even up to 10 and then you want to use it as your spf like i remember those days those trend of some people say they are making their local spf i think someone has reached out to me that i should give them a recipe of how to make spf and i'm like i don't understand what kind of recipe cosmetic grade or diy like the good thing is using fruits for diys is something that i really don't recommend i have nothing against it but it just just make it make sense for instance you grit or you grind um popo or carrots or cucumber into a puree i'm telling you in the next 30 minutes i think it has even lost most of its nutritional value one so if it has lost most of its nutritional value what do you have left if you say that i am vitamin c uh, like lemon contains vitamin c and then blah 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 and then and then and then you place it on your skin <sighs> you know what aside from the fact that it's using its nutritional value that's even for intake I don't know where it stands in the cosmetic the, um, 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 <laughs> value because when you are in need of vitamin B, we have cosmetic grade vitamin B and that's your niacinamide. When you're in need of vitamin A, we have cosmetic grade vitamin A which are your retinol mm -hmm. in general. When you have the need for vitamin C, you have a whole lot 
of cosmetics um, grade um, vitamin C from the main vitamin C itself that is the ascorbic and ascorbic to even derivatives that you have magnesium, ascorbic phosphate, sodium ascorbic phosphate, ascorbic palmitate. You have a whole lot that it's even better for you to work with because you even have a better usage percentage rate. You have a better understanding of these ingredients. They are much more relatable. They are much more, for me, they are even easier to use because some of these DIYs, it depends because they are food grade. So when you're trying to force them to become cosmetic grade, it's really not easy if you're not a professional in order for you to preserve it i'm in africa i'm in nigeria to be specific we don't have constant light so if you're making um, a diy and you cannot preserve it correctly putting it in the fridge it will get spoiled because there's no constant light even if there's constant light it might get to a point where even in the fridge or the um, freezer when it stays too long or Rather, well, most DIY people that I see, they tend to make it in small, 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 small badges. But for me, that's hectic. I rather make something that at least I should be able to use for months conveniently in the fridge or not in the fridge. Even though I know some cosmetics are also placed in the fridge, but it depends on what kind of cosmetics and how they are formulated. Like the, uh, like I was talking about vitamin C, that's ascorbic and elascorbic acid, which personally, if you're an oldie here, I don't formulate with those things. There are better, de there are good derivatives. I'm not saying elascorbic or ascorbic is bad, no, but it's a little bit it's not even a little bit it's too unstable and too uncertain the problem is on too unstable and too uncertain to a point that even if it loses potency you might not even know so it's better you go for better stable vitamin c's which are the derivatives i mentioned earlier to work with i hope my video was not scattered i was able to drive home the message and thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my videos i'll really appreciate it and hope to see you in that video bye